Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to create spiral stair or how you can create embedded features directly for pattern feature. So here is the example and we will start from scratch from the new 3D model. So specify the name and confirm OK. And if you have a look here, we have a default datum features. If I would like to create a spiral stair, I cannot use direct extrude feature and then the dimension pattern feature because I will miss some dimensions. So step by step, I like to show you how you can create embedded feature. Yeah, so we will start to create an extrude feature first, but you can see here that for extrude feature, we need to select the sketch plane. I will create on the fly the new datum plane and this first datum plane will be the sketch plane. So specify the dimension. So for example, the first offset will be, for example, 250. And this one will be sketch plane. Yeah. So specify the name if you want and confirm OK. If you would like to continue with extrude feature, you can confirm this resume button and the system will create sketch plane and it's definite as on the fly. I will show you in the sketch setup. You, you can see here the sketch setup and the system will select for me the sketch plane what was created. But for spiral stair, we need to reference plane created on the fly too. So I would like to create new datum plane and this new datum plane will be oriented based on the axis and this axis will be created again on the fly. So you can see you can create a couple of features directly on the fly while you create, for example, extrude feature. And for this one, I will select for the axis, I will select these two datum features. Yep. And if I confirm OK, the system would like to create for me the datum plane. And this datum plane will be oriented around the created axis and with control button to select the plane. And then the system allowed to you to create the datum plane based on the axis. And you can specify the value. So for example, minus 25 will be my first dimensions orientations. And if I come from OK, you can see here that for the sketch setup, yeah, the window is still opened. I can choose the orientation plane. This orientation plane will be directly created DTM1. Yeah. And this one will be placed, for example, to bottom because I like to orient it directly on the bottom. If I will come from sketch, the system allowed to me and automatically select the reference as DTM1. And we know that we would like to apply the reference axis. That's enough. I'd like to go to the orientation in the sketch. And you can see that right now I don't need to see the datum features. And what what I would like to create is the first center line. Yep. And specify the value, for example, the 15 will be angle of the first there. And then we can create the center and ends as arc. And it will be definition of the first arc. Yeah. Specify value, for example, this one will be 75. And then I will create the stair and again I will finalize the shape and this one will be the first stair with some dimensions. Yeah, so you can change it like you want, for example, 300. Doesn't matter for now. Yeah, you will specify your custom values. If I come from OK, the system allowed to me to create the first stair. Yeah, this is the thickness, for 
example 10. And if I will finish, the system create all features directly for extrude features. So every feature that I have created, you can see it was the sketch plane and then orientation plane for the sketch and the axis is automatically included for the extra feature. I created features on the fly while I have created extrude feature, real features on what you want. And what does it mean? Right now, if I will select extrude feature and then I like to use the pattern, the system will show me all dimensions what are for this feature. Yeah. The first dimension is offset for the sketch plane and this dimension I'd like to use for offset to the top. So for example, every 50 millimeters or some values will be go up. If you, if you will specify, for example, that you would like to create 25 stairs, the system will go on the up. Yeah. So I this is the standard dimension pattern. So if I will finish, you will see that system will create for me standard dimension pattern. If you would like to know more about the dimension pattern or standard dimension pattern, try to check my previous tutorial. Yeah, but in this video tutorial, I like to show you how you can create a spiral stairs. So select only the edit definition and you can see here that right now for the direction one, I select only one dimensions. But I'd like to add with control button the orientation dimensions. This dimension was created while I have created datum DTM1. Yeah. And then you can see that everything works like we need. Yeah. Looks great. What you would like to specify is value. So for example, you know that for the sketch one, we select the 15, the angle is 15. So for our edit definition and for our dimension, I don't want to use the 25, but only 15. And if I confirm OK, everything looks great. Yeah. If you would like to create a better visualization of the stairs, you can use the analysis and measure, for example, dimensions between top surfaces. Yeah. Distance is 50. So you can, for example, on the first stair, create new extrude feature. Yeah. This one. Or you can only project the curves. And then if you will create new line and create a corner, the system will automatically close the loop. And these dimensions, we know that is a 50. Yep. If you come from OK, specify the offset value. And right now we can reuse this extra feature as a reference pattern. The system will follow all stairs and everything looks great. Whoops. And you can see it's everything is so smooth and so nice. If you want, you can continue with standard sweep modeling or you can create a helical sweep and the system allow to you create a rail or you can use only extra feature and the finish the model and you can see here that I can really easy create the center shape. I hope so that you like this video tutorial and you have learned how to create in different way, dimension pattern 
or how you can create embedded features directly on the fly, for example, for extra feature. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Vladimir.